There's a push for more diversity at New York City's elite high schools. All right, some local leaders are wondering why so few minorities seem to get admitted. Jen Lammers has more from a meeting with parents in Bed-Stuy tonight. New York City's most competitive and desired high schools need a lesson in diversity. That's what the Bronx and Brooklyn's borough presidents argue as they hold their latest public hearing aimed at overhauling the way students are admitted to the city's nine specialized, gifted, and talented schools. One thing we're clear on, we have an F now. How do we move to an A plus so that all children would have an opportunity? It's a grassroots approach taken by the newly formed Gifted and Talented Education Task Force. You've lost a generation. Tonight, here from parents and teachers about what they think needs to change and then taking those concerns to the Department of Education. The unbelievable obstacles that a parent goes through from transportation to getting to the location to being told that there's a program at a school that when you get there, it is not there. I am in District 32 and it is not offered. So um, I kids should be able to have the opportunity to take an exam to whether they should see if they get fit or talented. But some say the barriers don't just end with the districts, despite students of color making up 70% of the city's public high schools. There's a disproportionate amount of African-American Latino students who get into those particular programs, and I, I believe that it's a shame, and I've been voicing my concerns about that for years. Of the 6,000 students who were accepted to one of these coveted schools this year, only 10% of them were black or Latino, and advocates say the more elite the school, the bigger the gap. At Stuyvesant High, which has space for some 1,000 freshmen, only 13 black students were offered admission. We believe there's a problem with that. We believe there's something inherently wrong there. In a statement, the Department of Education writes, we're committed to providing high-quality instruction at all schools, and gifted and specialized programs are one option for students and families. There is much more work to do to ensure equity and excellence at every public school in New York City, and we look forward to partnering with the borough presidents on this important work. <laughs> From bed Brooklyn, Jennifer Lammers, Fox 5 News. Well, kids in grades 3 through 8 are hitting the test booklets this week.